Today we're going to talk about wrist flex, the right wrist. Where is it flexed at the top? Where is it going to be flexed at impact? All right, Sean, we got a great question from Albany FX, one of the coolest names on the website. <laughs> he wants to know, he, well, he asked, is the right wrist flexed at 90 degrees at the top, and then does it stay flexed? So as much as I can get 90 degrees, and then yeah. does it stay flexed 90 degrees down at impact? What do you think? So that's a good question, and that's one that's near and dear to my heart because for a long time, I tried to maintain this angle uh, I don't think it's quite 90. It's in this, for all intents and purposes, let's we'll call, call it 90. 90 maxed if, out. If you're maxed out. But um, the discussion there is when I was trying to play golf for a living many moons ago, I tried to get it maxed out at the top. Mm -hmm. And then I tried to maintain it all the way to the finish. So let's just say it caused me a lot of problems. It actually caused me some uh, wrist injuries some damage. as well. So right off the bat, let's say that no, we don't want to do that, and uh, we'll get into some detail here about why in a minute. But that's so that that's not the good. classic waiter pose, right? Yeah, yeah. It's been in golf for golf instruction forever. So yeah. you've got a waiter tray, Dustin Johnson, you know, yeah. super, all those things. Not bad position to be in if no, you can do it. No, absolutely not. And the, and you know, those, we're gonna make this a little more simple in this video. Maybe later on we'll do a gears. Uh, wrist angles, real super detailed video for you guys that are nerds about mm -hmm. it, which is great. But um, for now, let's just say the wrists are bent, let's say an equal amount at address position, just slightly cupped in each if you have a fairly neutral wrist. Right. And on like a stock vanilla swing at the top, your right wrist will go about full extension, mm -hmm. your left wrist will be fairly flat, and you really wouldn't, to hold the tray is a good thought for the wrist, not so much with the arm, because if you um, have some side tilt here toward the ball, your arm will be angled a little bit. But right. the idea of the hole in the tray is a pretty good one for the top of the swing because I see a lot of guys that go the other way. They go, right. they go hold the tray with a left wrist, flat right wrist for a right-hander, and that's the kiss of death because the face is wide open. Right. So for starters, for that question, yes, at the top, you want to hold a 90. You want to get to But 90. it's a very physically demanding position to do with regard to shoulder rotation. Yeah. If you can get to the top of your backswing and be bent over and still do this, that's putting a lot of strain in my capsules in the shoulder. So you're right, it's going to be a little softer for most golfers. Exactly right. Angled out a little bit. Now, the, I think the initial question was downswing related, right? From the top of the swing to the ball. That impact, does that look like that okay. down by the ball? No, it doesn't. And for some simplicity's sake, let's say I'm at the top of my swing. I've got a fully uh, extended right mm -hmm. wrist. And then as I come down, flexed. Yeah, uh, th this will be flexed. This is right wrist extended. Extended, right? yeah. correct. So as I start down, let's just say we hold, or those positions hold. Not that you're physically holding that, but they. Let's just say those positions are the same till about the release point, which I would say here is around the waist for most players mm -hmm. before they start letting the club head swing out to the ball. So from that point, in order to hit the ball and hit it hard and straight and square the face and all that good stuff, your wrists are gonna. They're going to uncock in this direction, or like uh, ulnar deviate, so they're going to uncock, mm -hmm. right? And they're going, your right wrist is going to lose extension and start working into flexion. Yes. So at the ball, just like you would do anything else, we all, you know, it's athletic motion golf, which we called it that for a reason. Just like any other sport, if I was going to throw a ball, my wrist goes, I pitched baseball, and my wrist would go from extended to flex yes. as I threw the ball. So if you're down here at the bottom, let's start to talk left wrist for a minute. I'm extended at the top of the swing. I'm starting down, kind of the momentum of the swing and the mass of the club being back keeps that bent back. But when I start to want to go to the ball, I'm going to let my right wrist go from fully extended to in this flex position as the club kind of turns the corner from level to the ground to level yes. to the ground. Right? Yeah, Adds absolutely. a ton of speed, squares the face. You get a lot of benefit out of that. Now, when that happens is a big deal. So even Dustin Johnson, right, with the super duper version of that yeah. is still doing that same thing. Now, where a lot of amateur golfers or club golfers get into problems with, that straightening is happening back here off the rear foot, and they get this at impact. Yeah, so the, the timing of when it happens. It's the timing of when it happens, but you're not gonna, you're not gonna make up for the bad timing or the poor impact conditions by trying to hold this. No. 
So that's not the way to do it. And we talk about a lot of, in lessons that, you know, this needs to happen. Yes. The swinging of the club needs to happen. The left wrist goes flex to extend to the right wrist goes extended to flex. That's a crucial part of the swing. Well, if you put your body in a bad spot and your pressure in a bad spot, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, but you put yourself in a, a disadvantaged position. Absolutely. So you're gonna see that early. And the kiss of death is trying to hold and shove, you know, kind of pushing along the shaft line yeah. here or the grip to try to keep that from happening. And uh, you, you, that's putting the cart before the horse. You need to go back a few steps and figure out, you know, why these wrists are going into this kind of early casting. Right. And it, the, the fix is normally not just shoving it. And hands that's forward. a whole series of videos. A whole another series which of videos. We're doing, but the, to answer the question more directly is no, it doesn't stay right. where it is at the top. That was a long conversation for no, it doesn't. <laughs> and I know for a fact it doesn't because I try to do it and it, uh, it took me down some dark roads. So. You, you, if you like playing golf a lot, yeah. that's going to put you in a sling for a lot of golfers. Yeah, I really did some damage actually to my left one because it was taking the brunt of it because to get fully extended at impact and hold it, I had to add a lot of twisting action to my left wrist and hold it and it actually caused like some pretty severe damage in my wrist joint. So don't try to do that. I think that's the moral of the story. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yes, it happens up here. No, it's not happening down here. It's actually moving. It's not being held. Nothing, right. nothing really is held in the golf swing. I think if you grasp hold of that concept, you're way better off for it. Absolutely. Keith, thanks for sending that video in. Thanks everyone else for watching. Let us know if you're trying to hold these angles or more importantly, if you're having a problem getting that nice pro look at impact and you're, you're all dumped back here off this back leg. Let us know that. We'll do some more videos to help you out with that. Please click on the subscribe button. You'll get the next video just as soon as it comes out.